Hi, I'm Tiffany. I used to be like so worried about what other people thought. Like my anxiety and fear of being totally uncool was like so bogus, it's disgusting. Like barf me out, you know? It totally got in the way of my health, of my faithfulness to the Lord, and just like totally every part of my growth as a person. Like I said, it got in the way of my health. What toppings do you want on your pizza, Tiffany? Oh, no, I'll just take a salad. Wow, here I am like treating everyone to pizza and you're just like totally dissing it. What are you like, too good to eat what the rest of us eat? Are you on some kind of diet? You're just like totally trying to make the rest of us look bad. Oh my gosh, like don't have a cow, okay? Forget the salad, I'll have pizza. Oh, Tiffany, totally radical sleepover party at Britney's tonight. All the flyest guys are gonna be at her crib. And wine coolers are free flowing for the ladies. Uh, well, I was gonna rollerblade today and then go to a jazzercise class in the morning. Um, like, did you hear what I said? Hello, McFly! Uh, stop being such an airhead. I was just joshing with you. I'm kind of too afraid to be working out in front of people anyway, so it's probably best to just go to the party. Like, when I was around my friends, I totally lived an unhealthy life. Because, like, duh. I didn't want to be the doofus of the group. Like, I should have just done what I wanted because what I wanted was good. Like, totally need to kick the wimp in me to the curb. And know that Jesus, like, totally has my back when I'm doing what's right for my body and my life as a Christian. Worst case, I get uncomfortable for a bit. But, like, that discomfort totally passes way faster than the guilt and regret I feel for holding back. It, like, got in the way of my spiritual growth, too. Oh my gosh, like, wow, that girl over there is crying. We should go see if she's okay and, like, pray for her. This could totally be a chance to see if she knows Jesus, too. Uh, um, you really think I'm gonna let you go over there and talk to a stranger in public? and pray for them and talk about Jesus? As if, okay, and I have to be seen with you, so you better not. It could like help though. <sighs> Bite me, Tiffany. <sighs> okay, I'm not gonna go. So I was thinking of like starting a column for the school paper about like Jesus and like being saved and like the gospel and like totally killer encouragement for whoever might need it. Oh my gosh. Uh... <laughs> What a loser. People know I hang out with you, okay, Tiffany? Don't you dare. Just the fact that that embarrassing idea even entered your mind makes me sick. Like, gag me with a spoon. Yeah, I was just like, <laughs> yeah. Totally lame idea. Like, what a waste. I totally could have been encouraging someone else to like, Pray, eat well, jazzercise, go to church, get saved, read the Bible, speak up. All these wasted chances because I was so afraid. And like for what? I was acting like totally bogus for like no reason at all. Like who cares what other people think if what you're doing is what's good for your body and what's right according to the Bible. Like if the people around you make you feel bad, maybe don't hang out with those people anymore. Or... Like, even if other people have something to say, like, don't be a spaz over it. Just, like, take a chill pill and realize that it all comes down to you. Like, dig deep in the Bible, talk to someone you trust about your fears. And also something you can do is do something, like, totally tubular, which would be just fighting your fear. When you're afraid to talk or speak up, when you're afraid or embarrassed to, like, eat something healthy or, like, say a totally awesome prayer, but you're, like, too afraid to be the dweeb in the room. Just, like, do it anyway. <laughs> I mean, at least you won't be, like, all moping around, all, like, full of regret and guilt for not doing what's right. When fear wins, you lose. When fear wins, you lose a chance to do good and to, like, do what's right. So let's be brave and let's, like, totally stop feeling dumb for, like, having something to say or do, or ask. Let's like be brave and courageous no matter what. So like totally remember what I said. This educational video is so educational and it applies to all areas of your life. Not even just like your healthy part or like the God part of it, but every part of your life. Stand up, if you have something to say, say it. Worst that could happen is maybe you sound kind of stupid, but most likely you're not going to sound stupid. People are going to appreciate what you said. People are going to appreciate what you did and your body's going to appreciate what you said and what you did.
I'm just gonna appreciate what you did. If it's something good for it, this is the only like life that we get. So let's like say what we want to say if it's something that's good and let's like ask questions when we have questions and let's just like do all the good things even if it might like offend someone or like make someone mad or someone might like disagree who cares like this is the only life we get right let's do it i really hope you guys enjoyed this educational film if you did enjoy it then i hope that you hit the thumbs up button and i hope that you share it i hope that you like subscribe if you haven't done that and if you share it tell them to like subscribe too god bless you guys also, since this is the only life we get, you might want to click the links in the description for Pastor Stewart and Jennifer Guthrie at Family Bible Fellowship because, like I said, only life we get. So take advantage of what they're offering in this lifetime. Later.